Walking a baby into your home, of course, exciting, a joyful time for any family, but too many experience that time tragically if a mother passes away shortly after birth or during childbirth. It's an issue we've been talking about in depth here on 11 Alive. Our Atticus series, Mothers Matter, showed the problem disproportionate impacting women who are African American. And Congress and state lawmakers have started to address the concern, but one organization is working to make immediate changes. Jennifer Bellamy is looking into what hospitals across America, including here in our state, will soon be doing to try and help these mothers. Well, the U.S. ranks 65th among industrialized nations when it comes to maternal mortality, maternal mortality, but the Joint Commission hopes to change all of that. And a hospital accreditation group has announced a new set of standards to fight the high mort mortality rate and provide better care for new mothers. Every year, about 700 women die from pregnancy-related complications in the United States, and it's mostly preventable. An article from U.S. News and World Report put Georgia as the worst state with a 46.2 maternal death rate for every 100,000 births between 2011 and 2015. But starting July 1st of next year, all hospitals accredited through the Joint Commission will have to comply with a new set of standards. The changes are meant to address maternal mortality complications related to hemorrhaging, severe hypertension, or preeclampsia through prevention, early recognition, and timely treatment. Next summer, hospitals like Grady, Emory, Wellstar, and Northside in the Metro, and St. Mary's, then Piedmont Athens Regional and Athens, to name a few, will have to develop written procedures to identify and treat the conditions, stock easily accessible hemorrhage supply kits, hold drills at least once a year, provide role-specific education to staff who treat pregnant or postpartum patients at least every two years, and educate patients on signs and symptoms that require care during and after hospitalization. The new standard standards were created based on recommendations from several national groups and experts to reverse the trend and save lives. And these changes are expected to be far reaching. Four out of five babies born nationwide are delivered at hospitals that will have to adopt these new standards starting next summer. Hospitals that don't comply will risk losing their accreditation. Jennifer, thank you. This problem may sound familiar to you. 11 Alive Investigative Unit Atticus has been leading the way in raising awareness on this important issue. Their digital investigation, Mothers Matter, has been watched thousands of times online. We encourage you to watch it if you haven't. It's streaming now on 11alive.com slash Mothers Matter.